a message to those people who smoke cigarettes. If the Prophet وسلم, he said to us that the fire is our enemy, this person who is lighting a fire in front of his house, uh, his, his face, sorry, more than 10 times a day, if he smokes a 10 cigarettes, he just put the lights, the light you know, on his face 10 times. So this cigarette with the light, the light we said, the fire is what our enemy, except what we need from the fire. Like for example, to uh, 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 warm ourselves or cook the food. Apart from that, it is an enemy. We should not really use that fire. So how about this person? He is setting fire in front of his face and also inhaling the smoke of the fire, which is as well a killing substance, a killing element. The fire, you know, sometimes it kills not by burning, but by, by, by choking the person. It's been left. So we say to that person, you know, what are you doing? You're actually using the enemy of yours, which is supposed to be your enemy as a friend. And you can't even sleep without it. You can't even walk without it. That's why you're treating that fire as a friend of yours. And we find that these people as well have wives. They do have wives. How come that you are enraged if your wife smelling horrible or smelling onion from the kitchen? You tell her off. You don't tell yourself off because of the horrible smell of the, horrible smell of the cigarette. So the wife, she can't, you know, complain. Okay, either she will just uh, uh, put on with it and uh, or she end up smoking herself and usually we find that those people who are smoking cigarettes they have left the manners they don't mind even smoking cigarettes in front of other people who are ill or elders even some of them are older they like to smoke cigarettes in front of their parents well so those people they are on edge and as soon as you want to tell them, please, brother, put your cigarette on, you just stay away and tell you, or well, if you don't like it, just go away. <clears throat> or somewhere else. I mean, what is the manners here? So these people have left the manners. And those people who are caring about the people, they end up, alhamdulillah, stopping smoking. I'm not talking about the caring about the people because the law says there, the law, no, no, the law is inside themselves. They don't really, because I've heard somebody who said, I don't smoke cigarettes whatsoever in a public place. Alhamdulillah, ended up what? Giving up the cigarettes. Because he's got the manners. And because of the manners, then he has to know that manners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you are reciting Quran, making the of Allah azza wa you need to what to clean? Your mouth. So how can you know, an angel in front of you is going to take the word from you when you are smelling horrible and the angel are being harmed from what the son of Adam has been harmed from. So if the son of Adam has been harmed from the garlic, the angels might be, might be harmful as well, from, will be harmed from the garlic. So this is cigarettes and garlic is not haram, cigarettes is haram. So you're inhaling the smoke and you as well burning your money. And you know the fact that the Prophet said before you, when you die, you're going to be questioned about your money. Where did you spend it? So you're going to say, oh, what I spend it and burning it. And on top of that, inhaling it and making myself ill. So there is no benefit whatsoever from the cigarettes. Is it from the khabath? Of course from the khabath. It's not from the halal, from the tayyibat. It's from the filthy. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, and he made halal tayyibat to be halal and he made khaba'at to be haram. And if you argue with a person, he says to him, you know, don't kill yourself. He says, killing yourself. And this person who says it's not really from the khaba'at. Subhanallah. But it's not the khaba'at. Just ask him, would you give it to your son? If he hasn't got a son, would you give it to your Little brother, if that's brother, would you give it to someone who is little kid? If it's, if it's from the good, you know, this is you know, this is a logic argument. You could tell these people, are you, uh, are you willing to give it to the children? He will say no, no way. So then it is not from the tayyibat. And we know the khabath is always uh, can be you know used in a khabath. You don't care. So the food you will never eat your food in the toilet. No way. But some people enjoy the cigarettes while they're on the toilet. So that means it's from the khabah. 
Definitely. You know, people will see and in there, eat a sandwich while he's passing pieces. But he will smoke cigarette while he's doing it. No problem. Because khabif is bad. And he sometimes they put it inside their socks as well. So he's smoking in the toilet, put it in the sock. Have you ever seen a person putting his sandwich in the sock? When you find his packet, packet of cigarettes, you put it in the sock, no problem. Uh, because dirty. That's what it is. 